Let's say you need to create an Excel aging report showing your debtor's aging. And you want to do this dynamically, so whenever your debtor's receipts and invoices are updated, you want your age analysis to refresh automatically with just the click of a button. This is really easy to perform with Power Query. Let me show you how. Here we have our debtor's list showing the customer name, product, invoice number, invoice date, and invoice amount. Now we're going to import this data into Power Query. To access Power Query, on your ribbon, click on Data, then here in the Get and Transform Data Grouping is where you can access Power Query. To create a query linked to this data, click on From Table or Range. This Create Table dialog box pops up. Remember to keep My Table Has Headers checked and click on OK. This takes you into the Power Query Editor. If it's your first time seeing this view, please don't be intimidated, it's super easy to use. At the top here is your ribbon, just like in Excel. These are all the functions to transform and clean up our data. On the left here are the queries that Power Query is going to generate for us, and on the right here is Query Settings, showing properties and applied steps. Properties shows our query name, and if we look on the left, it shows the exact same name. The applied steps are extremely important, as this is where Power Query performs all the steps to transform our data. This is really useful, especially if we need to refer back to the steps that we performed, and for Power Query to automate the steps for any future data that is added to the data's list. If this looks a bit confusing and you're new to Power Query, you can learn more on how to navigate the interface and learn more steps on how to transform and clean up your data in this Power Query beginner video right here. The link is in the description at the bottom also. If we look at our applied steps on the right, we have our source and change type steps, which are automatically performed by Power Query when we imported our data. Let's X out the change type step. If you would like to understand more on why I removed the automatic change type step, please check out this video here, Power Query Error Handling. The link is in the description at the bottom. As we only need the customer name, invoice date, and invoice amount for the age analysis report, click on customer name to select it, hold down the control key, and click on Invoice Date and Invoice Amount to also select these columns. Then right-click and select Remove Other Columns, and we're left with only the columns we need for our age analysis. Next, we need to change the data type of the Invoice Date column to just Date, so that we can calculate the aging of the invoices. If you encounter date errors, then be sure to watch this video here. How to fix Power Query date error. Next, we're going to add a step to calculate the aging. While still having the invoice date column selected, on your ribbon, click on the Add Column tab and on the right here, click on Date. Then click on Age and a new column is created with the aging for each invoice. Next, let's change the data type for the age column to a whole number. Now we're going to create our aging groups. For this, we're going to use a conditional column. In the Add column, click on Conditional column, and this Add Conditional column dialog box pops up. Let's name the new column Aging, and here is where we will add our conditions. It's like using the IF function in Excel. If age is less than 30, then we want our output to be not due. Click on Add Clause to create another condition. If age is less than or equal to 30, then our output needs to be 30 days. Click on Add Clause. If age is less than or equal to 60, then our output needs to be 60 days. Add Clause. If age is less than or equal to 90, then our output needs to be 90 days. Add Clause. And lastly, if age is greater than 90, then we want our output to be 90 plus. Click on OK, and we have our aging column. We only need our customer name, invoice amount, and aging. 
right click and select remove other columns. Next we want to use the pivot column step to get the data in the right format. Click on the aging column to select it as this is the column we want to create new columns from. On the ribbon click on transform and click on pivot column. This pivot column dialog box pops up. In the values column click on the drop down and select invoice amount and click on OK. So now we have our customer name on the left and our aging days in separate columns. Let's reorder the columns so that not due is at the beginning, then 30 days, 60 days, 90 days and 90 plus at the end. Let's change our data type, use Ctrl A to select all our data, then in the transform tab click on detect data type and Power Query correctly returns the data type for each column. Next we want to replace the null values with zero. So let's select all the aging days columns, right click and select replace values. In this replace values dialog box type null and we want to replace with zero and click on OK. Now we also want a total column. To do that in the add column tab click on custom column Let's call this column total and for the custom column formula we want to add all our values in each of the aging days columns. Let's double click on not due to select it, insert a plus, double click on 30 days, plus 60 days, plus 90 days, plus 90 plus. Click on OK and we have our total column on the right and we can change our data type of our total column to a whole number. This all looks good, so let's send this back to Excel. Click on File, Close and Load To and we want a table in the existing worksheet. Let's place this here and click on OK and we have our age analysis. Let's clear the formatting. We also need a grand total row. To do that, click anywhere on your age analysis then click on Table Design and here under Table Style Options check Total Row and our last row is summed up. Let's quickly sum up the rest of our columns by using Alt Equals. Let's use Cells Style to finish formatting the report. So now if we add new data's data to the source and you can either right click to hit refresh or hit this refresh macro button and our age analysis is automatically updated. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could buy me a coffee. The link to this is in the description below. For those who don't know, I work a full-time job and make these videos on weekends and before and after hours. The caffeine boost will definitely help me through those late nights and early hours. Thank you so much for your support.